Hey, this is Sahas Kata from ScatterTech, and I'm here with the brand new HTC Thunderbolt for Verizon Wireless. And I just got my hands on a leaked version of Skype for Android, which features video calling support. This thing was shown off at CES 2011 earlier this year, but it never made an appearance in the Android marketplace. And uh, it's kind of unfortunate that it's taken so long, but the leaked version is available. It's working quite well. And uh, I decided that I'd give you guys a quick demo. And to do this, we're going to have Sharath Sharaf, one of her writers, give us a quick call in about 10 seconds or so. Uh, as soon as that rings, we'll see how this thing works. Okay, there we go. He's giving us a call. We have an option to answer with just audio, use the video feature, or decline the call. So we're going to hit video. And uh, this thing should load up in just about a second or so. It's initializing uh, video. And uh, let's see. Um, okay, you can see me at the bottom left. And uh, you can see Shurith in the big picture. And uh, I don't know if you can tell, but um, the video is actually very responsive. Um, it's, it's just as good as my computer, to be honest. And right now we're on 4G LTE. So keep in mind that if you were on Wi-Fi and if you had a faster connection, it would actually even look even better. So that's really impressive considering this is on a small Android uh, phone. And the interface actually offers a couple of features. If you tap on the screen anywhere, um, it gives you an option to switch camera. So if you hit on the video th button at the top left, um, you can turn off the video or switch to the back camera. And uh, let's click on that. So right now it loaded that thing up and uh, as you can see in the bottom left corner you can see that little Android bot in the background. So that works and uh, now I'm going to switch back to the front camera. Okay and uh, that should load up in a second. Okay there we go. And uh, I'm also going to show you the audio settings at the top right. It's really simple. You have a mute button, a speaker button, and uh, a Bluetooth option if you have a Bluetooth headset. It's really simple. The interface looks clean. It works very well. Um, unfortunately, the end button doesn't like disappear. It always stays on the screen, which is kind of annoying, but um, hopefully a final production version will look a little better. Um, but as I said, it's working great on LTE. It works great on Wi-Fi. And uh, I'm just waiting for the final version to hit the Android marketplace. And uh, we'll give you a full our full thoughts on that when that becomes available. But for now, uh, visit scattertech.com for more information, and uh, thanks for watching.